So hey, it's Hope again um, from Crafty Hope. I am getting ready to get some supplies together for a uh, jewelry challenge. Heather Powers of Humble Beads has issued her um, muffin tin jewelry challenge um, with a January 4th deadline. Well, I just saw the post yesterday and um, I'm just now getting my uh, muffin tin beads together. So I wanted to show you what I was doing and share that with you. So let's see what we've got. So first up, um, while I was getting ready to do the, the muffin challenge, I looked around my craft room trying to find my muffin tins, and I already found this one um, full of some supplies I have to make earrings. So I figured I'd make at least six pair of earrings out of these. Um, I've got a bunch of button cards. Um, I like to use button cards for earrings because that way I'm sure that the buttons match. Um, I love these. They're glass. Um... And then I have some miscellaneous um, odd mixed media things, rings and brads and um, light bulbs and shells and whatnot. Um, a, packages of some spacers and clock hands, um, big gold beads and um, vintage um, art metal th items, things like that. Um, that, you know, metal elements basically that I can mix in. Um, some different art bead pieces that I have from, um, I think these are Scorched Earth, and then these are, um, Stacey Louise, um, and then other miscellaneous beads that, um, I, and I put these in this tin all in pairs so that, um, I have one of each for each earring. So, um, I'm going to use those, like I said, make at least six pair of earrings. Then I found my second tin, and it was completely empty. So I've gone ahead and added a few um, elements to it. First off, I had started this piece um, a few weeks ago before I got sick, um, and it is some kind of uh, furniture hardware backer that you would have a knob on and screw in um, and I had my husband add a couple more holes here so I can hang some dangles um, and I glued on the um, the little resin flowers um, so I've picked out some coordinating beads for that um, and then I grabbed this um, this focal piece from um, Starry Road Studios, um, a little, I can get it out of my muffin tin, um, a little owl charm I thought might be cute on a bracelet, as well as this little moon and um, star pendant would be cute on a bracelet, a um, resin pendant I made with a some kind of mother of pearl almost button piece, but only one hole. Um, and a crown type thing in this brass. Um, I've got a chandelier crystal. That's always a pretty thing to put in a necklace. And that's it. Those are my two, um, my two muffin tins to make up my 12. So I'm back from picking out the, um, the beads for the muffin tin challenge. Um, I'd already picked these out for the, um, hardware piece. Um, and it's just some little pearls and some purple toned, well, violet toned beads for that. For the, um, piece from Starry Road Studio, um, I started by just looking at the color of the, the piece, and it's kind of a chartreuse-like color, so I grabbed these, um, these greeny, yellowy beads from Michael's, some wood tubes, and then, let's see if I can get them, um, 
these blue beads, I'm not real sure what they are, and these red coral beads. So we'll see how that looks. I may end up adding some more in because I kind of want a fun, uh, fringy type feel for that. For the little owl that I was having trouble picking up and still am, um, I grabbed this mix of Chinese crystals I have from Zenet shows. Um, and I really like that mix, I thought, with that owl. So I added in these crystals from Michael's. And then um, a couple of check glass beads and these little um, faceted amethysts, which I think are also from Michael's. Um, for the resin piece I made. I wanted to just go really simple with that. Um, I actually have my cousin in mind thinking about it because um, she calls herself the princess. So I picked out some of these really bright um, they're jade dyed um, amethyst beads from Zenet Shows. Um, about four millimeters or so. Um, and they're just really bright purple and then these glass off-white pearls that are um, also four millimeters from Zenet Shows to go with that piece. Um, for the little moon and star piece, which I can't find in the tin, there it is. For that, um, I kind of wanted to just represent the night sky, so I have these really blingy beads. They aren't really normally my style, but they caught my eye one day in Michael's. Um, so I grabbed those along with just some black um, glass pearls. I think I got at Hancock Fabrics. And to go with the um, charm itself, just some gold daisy spacers from Michael's. Then finally for the um, chandelier crystal, um, I, this one was harder for me to, to, to make a decision on. Um, I started by just going through drawers and grabbing this um, little connector from Industrial Chic. Um, I'm thinking I'll hang it up there, but it could end up off to the side. And for that, I just grabbed a bunch of beads from my bead soup and threw them in there and figure I'm going to just do some kind of mix for that necklace since the bead itself is just transparent. Um, I did pull out my bowl of bead soup um, that I may pull more beads from to, to make up the necklace, but for now I started with those. So that's where I am right now, and I need to start, I guess, getting some jewelry done before January 4th. One last note, I have reviewed that video of the Muffin Tin Challenge reveal and realized how much I say um, so I want to apologize for that. I am going to, as I work on these videos, get a little bit better at my presentation, so I apologize for now and hope that you could bear with it for the moment. I will be working on it. Thanks.